Hello, hello to Barbarak YouTube channel. Uh, some questions popped up recently how to uh, do some uh, circuits from NPN to PNP transistor to, to kind of uh, uh, change them uh, in a way to modify them so you could use uh, PNP transistors. Let me show this uh, in a simple uh, circuit like LPV1 and I keep going back to that one uh, over and over again because it, it's really simple. So let me just show you what we're dealing with. So this is a very simple circuit, right? Very simple circuit. And you may have seen that uh, people are saying you just swap, you just swap the poles of battery and it will all work. But it, it, it's not as simple as that because uh, you can just do that. Um, it is true to a certain extent that that's what you need to do, but you need to know which ones to swap and which ones don't. So what happens, the, the power supply is supplying the amplifier part here, just that part. So really what we're looking at, if we want to uh, replace this um, transistor with PNP equivalent, uh, we would need, instead of having the amplifier uh, having ground here, we need to swap ground with uh, positive pole of the battery and we wire this up to the negative uh, pole of the battery. Uh, the rest of it should stay the same. So we shouldn't be changing this here, how it's wired. Uh, and the reason for this is that, you know, your signal here is a like a sort of a, a sinusoid or something, you know, uh, it's more complex than that, but let's assume, and it, it is going around zero uh, reference. Uh, goes through your DC blocking capacitor, coupling capacitor. So here it is, uh, say, uh, transposed to say so. Uh, it's it's uh, um, transposed to a higher. So you have DC uh, component here that kind of uh, um, lifts the the signal up. So you you have it here, it's in positive, uh, uh, it's above uh, zero. Anyway, so this is, the reason for that is to keep this transistor uh, turned on. And then that DC component is blocked here, so, so the signal goes back to zero. And uh, this volume uh, uh, potentiometer just, you know, controls the level of that signal coming out. So let me show you what you need to do if you want to uh, change your um, NPN transistor bit um, PNP. First of all, you get rid of your uh, transistor and you put in uh, PNP one. And in this case, I used, uh, what I use? I used the uh, 2N3904 equivalent PNP transistor is uh, 2N3906, 2N3906. And we put it here. Now this won't work because the transistor will be switched off uh, simply because uh, polarity here will be wrong and it will keep the transistor turned off. Uh, what we need to do is just need to rewire it slightly. And that's it. That's really what it is. There's nothing, there's no drama. Uh, around this. Um, you don't change this, you don't change how this is wired, you just change these two. So that's what I'm going to do. I'm, 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 uh, if, if you look at here, 
you know the, that's exactly what the difference is right this is literally what I did there and the topology is exactly the same but let me breadboard this and do exactly what I did here on the circuit and, and you'll see what I'm talking about okay let's check out now if what I was saying is it's going to work you know I said by just swapping this transistor here and rewiring a very tiny bit uh, a small change should make NPN circuit uh, just work for PNPN uh, transistor so let's do that so I'll, I'll do that real quick I say here 13 okay this here no R1 here R2 here our three goes here R4 next to it. It's good. C2. Here and C1. It's a bit crammed, isn't it? But it, it always is with uh, breadboard. Okay, so what do we have here? Oh, I got the coloring wrong. Okay, so the, the key is that one goes to ground. I drew it here, didn't I? I think I just used color from some di different parts I used a while ago. Um, doesn't really matter. Coloring is as long as we know where things go. It's here. Here. When I say coloring doesn't matter, it doesn't matter, uh, it's just easier to follow if the coloring is right. Okay, that's it. Oh, forgot to add this.
Maybe I should have put this first. Maybe it would have been easier. Fuck. Yeah. That's it. Plug in stuff in. I mean, this is just a brief demonstration. I'm not going to play anything. And as you can see, and as you can see, this is working. Now, Let's make PNP version of this. Uh, and this is going to be exactly the same. The, if you notice, the circuit is nearly exactly the same. Uh, pin out for the transistor is, is practically the same. Uh, it's a different transistor, uh, be sure about that, but um, the, the wiring, the only difference is this. See that this goes to 9 volts and this goes to ground. Uh, so I'll just swap the transistors. Two N three nine zero six. Exactly. Oh, where was it? It's here. Okay, let's play it. Yeah, it's not working, obviously because this is wrong. But I'll I'll just rewire this. Yeah, there it is. It's working. So, yeah, it it, it is it is really that simple. So, um, as I said, uh, the thing is really uh, simple. You just need to be careful about what goes to ground. You can't just swap. You can't just have the same circuit and just swap uh, ground and power because as you can see here, uh, your input jack still goes to ground. If you just, you know, did everything, you do the board, uh, you put everything in and you're like, oh, shoot, I don't have uh, NPN transistor, but I have PNP. You put it in and you just swap uh, power and ground rails. It, it won't work because I only swapped this part here. Just that that's something to, to uh, keep mind of. But that's really it, a short, short thing, short demonstration. That was relatively straightforward with uh, LPP boosts. Oh, as an added bonus is, uh, let's see what, in theory, we, we could do with the uh, bus phase to change it to PNP silicon uh, transistors. And in this case, you know, it's important to remember that uh, not all circuits are as trivial as uh, LPB1. That's why I choose it as uh, most of the time as, as an example, uh, you know, as an example circuit where uh, you know, I demonstrate things. But say in some circuits you might have a combination of PNP and PM, etc. Et uh, in this case, uh, I, it, it's interesting to note that, for example, you have this here, uh, you have 
you have um, a polarized capacitor that you will need to change. So uh, what will happen is you need to swap ground. Let's change the color. Swap ground and connect it to 9 volts. And uh, you need to swap your 9 volts. You need to connect it to ground. For example, but uh, you need to be careful about uh, polarization of this uh, capacitor because now this is at nine volts and this uh, second pole of, of the uh, second pin of middle pin of the potentiometer is going to be on lower um, uh, potential. So this needs to be flipped, and now you you just need to replace um, these. Uh, two transistors uh, with uh, PNP equivalent. Now, this one appears as it, it would have to change a lot, but uh, in, in reality, uh, because of the, you know, depending on, on which transistor you choose, it's just you replace them. This diagram is not very well suited for, uh, you know, describing this so at some later uh, video I'll, I'll show you how to do this and I'll adapt this uh, schematic so it's easier to just rewire it properly okay that's all for today